Welcome to the Koala Boundary in Cherokee, North Carolina. Cherokee people have lived for millennia in this beautiful land and sustained their way of life despite assaults from outsiders. Many Americans have heard of the Cherokee and the Trail of Tears in the mid-1800s, but they may not know the Cherokee people continue to live and thrive in western North Carolina in an area known as the Koala Boundary. Cherokee individuals maintain and promote their culture with the special skills that have been handed down for thousands of years. Members of the Eastern Band of the Cherokee Indians use their skills as artists, language speakers, lawyers, educators, historians, archeologists, or accountants to promote, preserve, and share the Cherokee culture within the tribe and to those who want to learn about one of the oldest preserved cultures in the United States. One person who creates beautiful art and preserves Cherokee culture is artist Joel Queen. He will demonstrate the techniques used in building a koala style cooking pot. Archaeologists have discovered pottery sherds in the koala boundary that date back to 1000 BC and Cherokee potters still use the same methods, materials, and patterns in the early 20th century. Joel will make a traditional Cherokee cooking pot, starting with prepared lazella clay, similar to local clay that Cherokee potters would have used. The finished product will resemble cooking pots the Cherokee used up through the time metal containers became available through trade with the English. Koala style pots have an ingenious design for cooking. The conical form allows it to nestle in the coals of a campfire and be supported with rocks. The form also evenly spreads the heat during the cooking process. Potters stamped the outside of the pots with texture and pattern to make it easier to grip the pot and to aid in distributing the heat evenly. Potters polished the inside to waterproof the pot. They also made a two-layered rim because they knew it would improve the strength and stability of the pot. The design of these pots helped provide nutrition for Cherokee families for millennia. Today, Cherokee potters produce a variety of styles. Since the early 1900s, Cherokee potters have produced pots not only for traditional uses, but as a means of income from tourists and collectors. Joel Queen can trace the craft of pottery in his family for the last nine generations. His great aunt, Louise Maney, was a creative and innovative Cherokee potter. The craft of pottery is passed from one creator to the next, and Joel Queen has chosen to share his art with others to help preserve Cherokee culture and help eliminate the prejudices and stereotypes that have been placed on Native art. Let's go to the studio with Joel. That's all the pottery side right there. And what we have is a landing wheel, a bowl. Most of the time they will use a broken pot or a gourd, or sometimes wooden bowls to get things started. of his coils.
headed right onto that stair.